What's up guys, Lucas here. And in this video, I'm going to break down how creatine may actually exert an antidepressant effect that may be in fact similar to ketamine. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to give you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So if you're looking forward to more of these videos and you like my existing videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below, like this video, and please do share it around as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, back to creatine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and show you the study that I'm referring to um, so that you guys can follow along. Right, so this study was published um, in 2016 and it was titled Creatine Similar to Ketamine Counteracts Depressive-Like Behavior Induced by Corticosterone Via the PI3K AKT mTOR Pathway. Um, now, to break that down, corticosterone is the precursor to cortisol. Um, and we know that excess cortisol can lead to depression via shrinking um, various brain regions and specifically affecting the hippocampus and things like that. And what was fascinating was that they, they did find that creatine possessed a similar effect to ketamine um, to, well, via the same pathway as ketamine um, in that it has the ability to acutely reverse the negative effects of uh, corticosterone on um, depressive-like behavior. So what's further to this is that creatine also possesses some other positive effects um, in the brain beyond just this simple pathway. Um, so I'm going to show you another study um, which basically had a look at um, creatine's role in uh, cognitive function in healthy individuals. Um, and what I found really fascinating was how creatine uh, can be utilized by the brain and how it can affect um, cognitive function and specifically memory retention um, and learning abilities. So this study basically had a look at how creatine can saturate in the brain and affect cellular energy homeostasis and how creatine can actually contribute to uh, neuroprotection by reversing mitochondrial dysfunction in neurodegenerative diseases. Uh, now, creatine was also shown to reduce glutamate availability, which is the number one neurotransmitter that contributes to excitotoxicity. Uh, and it also has the potential to affect blood sugar levels and uh, glucose utilization by the brain. Um, so this is really fascinating how we can look at these supplements beyond their ergogenic effects in the gym and um, in the sporting arena and things like that. So yeah, this video is basically to put forward yet another novel effect of a basic supplement. You guys know that I love to share new and exciting research. Uh, and if you want to learn more about hacking the brain and how we can improve cognition and mood and motivation, check out the free nootropics and cosmetic neurology masterclass that I developed um, where I go through various ways in which you can hack your brain and take control of your um, neurotransmitters. Uh, and just to give you guys a quick insight, the dosage used in this study was 10 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, which is the equivalent human dose of 0.81 milligrams per kilogram of uh, body weight. Obviously, this is not medical advice, um, but if you guys found this video, please be sure to hit that like button, share it around, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.